here. This video has been super highly requested because my hair looks so different lately. It's getting long, it's growing. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my updated curly hair routine for 2022. I'm basically using all brand new products. If you want more hair videos from me, then please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. Today's wash day and I've had my hair in this low bun for probably a good three to four days. So it's definitely time for me to wash it. I'm wetting my hair and I'm starting off with conditioner first. I like to use the Color Radiance Daily Conditioner from Innersense. I take a really good chunk of conditioner and just coat this all over my hair. And then with a wide tooth comb, I'm detangling my hair from ends to roots and working my way from the bottom all the way up to the top. I do conditioner first just so I can remove all the tangles before I shampoo because if I'm just going to shampoo over tangles, I'm just creating more tangles. After conditioner, it's time for me to shampoo and I'm using the Hydrating Cream Hair Bath, also from Innersense. This is a really gentle shampoo, so I like to shampoo my scalp actually twice. I like to really focus on the scalp, but also bring the shampoo down the strands of my hair because I need to like wash everything. I don't shampoo twice with every single shampoo. Like if it's stronger, I definitely won't shampoo twice. After rinsing, I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. I freaking love this mask, like it's literally almost gone. And again, I just apply this all over my hair and coat it, especially on my ends. I wanna make sure that they get a lot of love. I'm just finger detangling and just making sure that all my hair is detangled. Once my hair is tangle free, I'm just taking a claw clip and I'm just gonna tie this up while I do the rest of my shower. After it's been sitting on my hair for like a good 10 minutes, it's time for me to rinse and I'm ready to hop out the shower. Fresh out the shower, well not like exactly fresh. I off camera did my makeup obviously. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how I actually like to style my hair. I feel like honestly these products, the combo is just like perfect. I always have to put a towel over my shoulders. I absolutely hate having water on my shoulders. But this is a microfiber towel, so it's good because it's not gonna create like a lot of frizz. This is my hair outside the towel. Isn't this crazy? This is literally insane. You see how long my hair is? Like, bro, that is so crazy. The power of like not coloring your hair. You feel me? I always like to find my part. And so I like to have mine here, more of like a side part. From this part, I'm just gonna go all the way down and create my two sections. And just twist this side up so that I can work on this side. So obviously this section is extremely dry because my hair has been in the towel. I'm just gonna re-wet it in the sink. Now that my hair is wet, I'm gonna go in with my Amika Curl Corps Defining Cream. I like to use it as a leave-in conditioner just because it's super moisturizing. I like to just apply it to the whole section, about like this much. And then I just start combing from the ends. I'm just kind of work my way up to the top. As you can see, my curls are looking a lot more moisturized. They're not frizzy. They're starting to actually clump together. From this point, I'm going to layer on my styling product because I always gotta use a gel. I cannot just use cream. I start from the back and just part off a section. This is my section. For my gel, I use the Eye Create Hold from Innersense. Like I'm literally using almost all Innersense products, but it's not sponsored. I am in love with this gel. They used this on me at the salon, and I never knew that this would like hold my curl tight, but it works really, really good. It depends on the section, but I'm gonna start off with like this much product and just coat the section. 
and just kind of scrunch. And I'll just throw this section to the back and work on my next section. And just smooth it over the section and kind of rake it through. The water really is the key to the definition. Like you want your hair to be like literally soaked. Usually I put a towel on the floor as well, like lots of towels, <laughs> towel on my shoulder, towel on the floor, like sometimes towel on the sink because it gets really messy. The wetter the better, honestly. Then I just literally do the exact same technique. I part my hair in sections and I apply my gel, keep my hair moisturized with the water, keep it wet. And so this is what my hair looks like after all the products are in. And now the most annoying part of all, diffusing. I use the Dyson Supersonic, it just works so freaking good. Like if you can get it, save up, recommend it 100%. I have two. First I blow dry like this, where I'm just kind of like coating over the hair and I'm not actually like messing with it. You wanna just create almost like a cast. And then when your hair is probably like, I would say close to like 75, 80% dry, you can kind of go in there and create that volume. For me, a big thing is definition and length. So that's why when I'm diffusing, I don't really move my hair around too much. I blow dry my hair on high air, low heat, and I'll probably diffuse for like a good 30 minutes. diffusing this is what my hair is looking like for my edges I like to use the Myel rosemary mint strengthening edge gel and this is infused with biotin and I just use it with a little like edge brush just kind of brush it into my hair just to kind of like clean it up a little bit now I'm just gonna flip my hair over and put my fingers like through my scalp just so I can help give myself some volume Kind of break everything up, rough it up a little bit. And these are the day one results. I can make my hair probably last a good four to five days. Day five is already starting to look kind of frizzy and it doesn't look bad, but I just personally like to have my hair more defined. But yeah, these are the results. I'm just like, wow, like my hair is like actually like getting long. I kind of want to straighten it because the length is kind of like what's going on. You know what I mean? It's like I just do a curly hair routine and then like the next week my straight hair routine. <laughs> But if you like this video and you want more curly hair content from me, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.